people on the autism spectrum considered savants? Well, that's not entirely true. I wouldn't necessarily call it savant syndrome, but I would call it a fixation, uh, almost obsession in some cases, with a certain subject. Not necessarily the same as savant syndrome, because savant syndrome is an actual, you know, a diagnosis. Uh, an obsession or fixation on something does not equal diagnosis. It most likely never will. Uh, you know, a, a real world example, you know, for myself is, you know, obviously, as you can probably tell, I'm very interested in, uh, you know, tactical stuff. I'm, I'm interested in mil spec gear. Uh, that's one thing I really have a, a big fixation on, aside from aerospace projects. Autism is a form of the mental R word, isn't it? Well, this is actually the other side of the spectrum itself. Autism is not the same thing and should never be used as an excuse to call someone the R word or any other slur or term that could be used as an insult. It never should be, and you should never uh, use an ex someone's diagnosis as an excuse to bully someone. Uh, it's just as simple as that. I'm going to get this one out of the way really quickly. Don't do it. Please. You know, I heard autism is caused by vaccinations. This one I feel like I'm going to have a hard time with uh, in regards to, uh, you know, how to explain it and also the idea of, you know, just because someone gets vaccinated doesn't necessarily mean that they have autism. You know, autism is something that you're born with. It's not necessarily something you get vaccinated for. Uh, also, uh, I, but to my extent and knowledge, for the research that I've done, uh, vaccinations actually don't cause autism, Asperger's syndrome, anything of that sort. Uh, I actually believe that the whole thing was a hoax. I, I think it was actually uh, formulated by some, you know, probably someone who didn't like autism or Asperger's syndrome or anything like that. Uh, and I, this, it, you know, the news spreads, got into the news, and now it's, you know, it's accepted as true even though it's not. So, that's also another myth. People who are on the autism spectrum will probably never be successful. This one is, you know, not true at all. But I will also say, however, it also depends. I like to use the quote, if you've met one person with autism, you've met one person with autism. Uh, so, it, it's a spectrum. It really depends solely on how that person acts. Uh, what their behavior is, what their outside influences are, a lot of factors. Believe me, it's, it's a lot. Uh, but to go so far as to say that someone will not be successful uh, because someone uh, has a, a label or a diagnosis, a word that's associated with how they behave, uh, it, it is quite frankly uh, silly, uh, disrespectful, and should never be done. You know, uh, I'm on the Asper uh, I have Asperger's syndrome. That's why I'm making this video to hopefully educate more neurotypical people about autism. Because in my opinion, it's it's not just about the acceptance of people who have autism, uh, not just the tolerance of it. I also think it's about you know uh, people on the autism spectrum giving their voice to neurotypical people, such as you know whoever watches this video. If you're ne neurotypical, uh, good for you. You know, that's cool, uh, nonetheless. But, you know, for example, you know, uh, when, when someone tells me, oh, well, you're not going to be successful, or, you know, because you have autism or something like that, you know, if anyone wants to tell that to me, I like to tell them, you know, hey, man, I've, <laughs> I've literally done this for four and a half years and still practicing. There's always room for improvement. You can always get better. I've been DJing for about, like I said, Four and a half years on and off. This is my second controller. Freaking love this thing. Uh, I would love to actually DJ either at a BLFC, uh, not the BLFC, uh, Itty Bitty Furcon or AZ Furcon. That would be awesome. I'm not ready for it yet. This year is definitely not going to be the year. However, I would love to go and you know uh, uh, seek out you know the crowd, see what the crowd is like at, at you know their dance party, whatever they have. So uh, nonetheless. You know, if, if, if you're calling someone unsuccessful or they won't be successful uh, because of their diagnosis, I'm, I'm sorry, you've got, you got nothing better to do, you know, than to tell someone that they're not going to be successful.
I, I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, now, on to the last myth. Autism is curable, or at least will be curable in the near future. For this last myth, I'm actually going to show my face, because not only am I heating up here, I feel like, I'm, like I might as well just be passing out at this point. Uh, I also think it's important that I, you know, you put a face to the name, uh, because, you know, I, just because of this mask doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not a person, that I have feelings, that I have interests and goals and aspirations in life. So, uh, I'm going to be just taking this off because it, it's hot in here and all the other reasons I said, so let's just take this thing off. <sighs> okay. So, myth number five. That is the last myth, last myth of the, the, the video here. Uh, autism is or will be curable in the near future. This is, I feel, I feel like this is where I'm going to get the most controversy here. Um, but I'm okay with saying this. Uh, autism, by what I know, will probably never be curable. Um, however, you can overcome it. Uh, something I don't really like to tell a lot of people, but I'm going to tell you guys now just for the sake of, uh, you know, t just getting the point across. Uh, I used to harm myself, bang my head and stuff like that. I was, I was, I had severe autism. I, I couldn't, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to look at people in the eye. I would be always really mad. And that's, pr I think, looking back on it now, that's primarily because I didn't accept the fact for who I was. You know, I have Asperger's syndrome. I didn't, I didn't realize since I was very young at the time that that makes me who I am. I, I don't think, you know, the interesting thing is, I, I, I think it's interesting when people say, autism should be cured, autism is a disease, uh, whatever have you, you know? Um, you know. Not only do I think that's silly, you know, uh, autism is not a disease, you can't contract autism, you're born with it. Um, it you know, and once again, it depends on who you meet, how you meet them, what their outside influences are, what their internal influences are, so many variables. Um, but the point I want to get across now is, you know, uh, if you want to be cured of autism, you have to be willing to cure yourself of yourself. Um, but if you want to do that, you can. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it because, in my opinion, I wouldn't change myself for the world. You know, I, I, I love being here. I love being able to communicate with people. Uh, I'm probably, you know, I'm, I'm going to edit this video too. I, I really need to get this together. And, uh, you know, those are just five myths to just tell people uh, that I actually, I really like to tell people about these things in my day-to-day -day life. Uh, you know, I don't let it define me, uh, but, I, you know, one of the things that I like to tell people, for like, right off the bat is, you know, I have autism, but yet again, I also like to follow up with, but that doesn't define me, I define what is autism. Um, so, anyways, uh, nonetheless... Guys, like I always say, follow your dreams, stay motivated, stay happy, and um, you'll get through it. This is the Jackal, or Migs Every Day from YouTube, signing off.